Hey guys, here's another video showing a bit of some more GPD win gameplay and today we are going to be checking out Dead Cells, the mahoosively popular Metroidvania roguelike game from Motion Twin. Now, I'll show you the options straight away because there's not many in this game. Graphical options, you've pretty much just got full screen, windowed and windowed full screen, V-Sync enabled, bright flashes, turns off bright, lash, uh, bright flashes, and pixelated font. So there's not much you can do in the way of performance. You can obviously go into the, the actual code and change the resolution in the actual game code, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to see how it runs as is on the GPD win. Now I've not actually tried this on the on the GPD win yet, but this is the kind of game that's perfect for it. Pixelated, it's Oh well, there you go, look at that. So it's look feels okay. What frame rate are we getting? We're getting 29, 28. Need to get into some action. So this game, this game got got massively popular on PC, and then when it came out on Switch, I believe there was a lot of controversy regarding a review that got stolen, which was only a good thing because it put this game into light, and this game is absolutely fantastic. If you like, if you like side scrollers or Metroidvania type games, then you need to try this game. It is absolutely amazing. And it's not dear, it's only a cheap game. Basically what happens, you start here. Every time, it's procedurally generated, so every time you start this game, it's going to be different. And basically, you've got permadeath as well, so anything you collect throughout the game... will You will lose, apart from if you've got, like, I've just picked up a little bag with some money in that's because I've unlocked a certain perk that allows me to pick up purse that I've collected so you can basically you've got to collect cells throughout the game and these cells will allow you to make permanent unlocks so when you die you will You will have them when you are respawning. So that's the idea, really. This bit's the prison bit. You will always start in the prison. And this prison's kind of... That was a cell that we just picked up then. And this prison will lead you to any other levels. For example, the... I think they're called the sewers as well. There's And there's another one. And they're also procedurally generated levels. So you never know where they are. These are little teleporters that'll go, that'll take you through little like little fast travels. I've never played this using this control either, so it's it's a bit fiddly on this controller. Uh, we'll take that. For some reason it's not doing the height of its jump like it should. But oh well, we're just showing you gameplay and we're pretty much sticking at around 33 frames a second, which for a pixelated game like this is is fine. It's absolutely fine. It's colours look great, graphics look great, it's incredibly smooth. We're dropping to around 26, but it's not noticeable if I'm honest. Well, I don't think so anyway, as I'm playing like this, but you might think differently. But I would recommend this game on, on this platform, absolutely. So here's where you can buy s certain weapons, but we're not going to do that now, because we're not, we're not getting serious into this.
we just, uh, we, we, you know what we do, we just show you gameplay. And like I say, this is the new little format I'm recording at. If it's not clear enough, if you can't, if you preferred the old way, go and watch a few of the old GPD win gameplay um, videos. And if you prefer, prefer it that way, I'll, I'll go back to doing it that way. But this is just a lot easier. And, yeah, it's just easier. So thanks for watching, guys. That was Dead Cells on the GPD win. Absolutely perfect game to play on this. Getting between 24 and 35 frames a second. Pretty consistent at around 30. And runs very smoothly. Thanks for watching, guys.